Hi there! So in today's video, I thought I would do a very different video. I'm going to show you guys how I did my makeup then versus now. So if you guys would like to see how I did my makeup then versus now, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Alright, so to start off today's video, first of all, and when I'm saying then, I'm talking about like 10 years ago, like when I was in high school. And so looking back actually at my yearbook, it's like actually right here. Um, it's hilarious because I look at my like graduation picture or my, you know, the, your senior picture that you have to go take at the studio and it's hilarious. I literally have like no eyebrows and I have no idea, like, I don't know. But looking back, it's hilarious. But, um, so first of all, I'm going to use my left side as then, how I did my makeup in high school and I'm going to do the right side of my face versus now how I do makeup. So first of all, then I never used primer. Um, I didn't even use moisturizer. Now I'm more focused into my skincare and I do have moisturizer on already all over my face. So I am kind of cheating on that. But I am going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Hangover Plenishing Face Primer on my right side of my face because I do usually use primer now. I think back then my, my skin was a little bit more, um, I would say combo, like oily and um, normal depending on you know, the areas of my face. And I feel like now my skin is definitely much more dry. So I focus so much more on moisturizing and primer. So I'm just prime this side of my face. So moving on, I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula for my foundation today. And I'm gonna use it on the, my entire face just because I feel like I'm not gonna have a foundation that I use then. I believe I used to use like the Maybelline. I don't even know what the name of it is, but I did still use foundation then it was very very like very light to medium coverage but i'm going to use it all over my face but something that is very different from then and now is that then i like to use like these flat paddle brushes for foundation and i feel like that was probably the trend then that's probably why so i'm going to use that for the left side of my face And then now I actually like to use these like flat top kabuki brushes. And I'm just actually going to build that up a little bit more. This gives a pretty like light to medium coverage for this foundation. And it dries down, I would say, um, fairly quickly. So blending it out right away is kind of important. All right, so I definitely do like the flat top kabukis more now for application of foundations because I feel like it has a more um, like even distribution. I feel like the flat paddle brushes are a little bit more streaky and it just requires me to like, it's just not as big and I feel like the coverage and how much like it requires me to um, blend out foundation just so much better with flat top kabukis. So I so much more prefer these type of brushes now. All right, so moving on, I would typically put on concealer now, but when I was in high school, I literally did not use concealer at all. And so I had no like sense of highlighting, contouring really whatsoever. So I'm just gonna leave the then side, my left side, without concealer, and I'm gonna go on to concealer for what I would do now. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I use the shade Light Beige. And I like to just place a little right there in the middle where my dark circles, I have dark circles in between, if you can't tell, it's like, it has like blue, purplish veins underneath. And then I would typically highlight my nose and I'll just highlight a little bit here and just on this side. And also I like to blend it out with like a wet sponge. I'm just gonna do that. Next, after concealer, I would typically set my under eye with translucent powder. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Butter. With the e.l.f. sponge, I'm just gonna use the pointy side and just set my under eye and basically wherever I had placed the concealer. 
I feel like I can really see such a big difference from now versus then. I feel like now I wear so much more like coverage and especially with concealer, I can see there's a big difference in using concealer. And All right, so moving next, I would typically do brows. And I think this is the single most like biggest difference versus then and now is that I never did anything with my brows then. Like especially in high school, I literally just left it as is. It did not matter if I had a smoky eye or I had just like a natural eye. Like I literally would just leave it the way it was. So I'm pretty embarrassed to admit that. But that is what I did then. I literally had no brows. So I'm gonna leave my left side with no brows and now what I actually do is I actually do my brows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 5 and I'm just gonna fast forward this part because this part can take like 10 to 15 minutes so just keep watching. Alright, so continuing with brows, I also like to set my brows now with like a brow gel and I, this is pretty recent, probably in the last 6 months I've been doing this and this is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in 02 Brownie Brows. And for today's look, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Original, like the first naked eyeshadow palette. I feel like this was so popular then and honestly this is actually a pretty recent purchase. I did not actually get the first naked eyeshadow palette. I actually started with the Naked 2 palette, but I'm going to use this one because I feel like this was so popular back then. So I'm going to start off with Thin because from what I remember and as I'm looking at my senior picture, it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> um, I can kind of remember what I did back then. So. What I did back then was I like to start off with like one transition shade and I think I would normally gravitate towards a matte. So I'm going to do my best not to do exactly how I would do it now because you know it's just out of habit. And then what I would typically do is I would just sweep it across. I never really cared back then about like transitions and I never really cared about there being harsh lines like I was like if I had eyeshadow on I wanted you to know that I had eyeshadow on yep so next I'm gonna go into dark horse with the same exact brush too I really did not switch up my brushes that much then especially in high school I literally just used like one or two brushes at most and I always liked these like blending type of brushes so and I did the same exact thing I went over and I would just put it right on top and do the same exact thing, just blending it out. All right, and that's how I would typically leave it for pretty much all the eyeshadows. And then I would usually go in with like a flat brush and I would go in with like maybe a highlight brush, maybe this shimmer one right here called Sen. And I would just highlight my brows. All right, so let's move on to what I would typically do now. Same exact thing, I would start off with this uh, another fluffy brush. And I actually wouldn't mind actually going back into that buck shade right here, this matte buck shade. Um, it's definitely like a cooler brown. And I would actually start off a little bit lighter. Like I wouldn't be as harsh. And I would really create a nice transition now compared to then. And I actually like building up my shadows much more now as well. Compared to them, then I would typically like to just go right into the shade, make it super dark. All right, so next, I would actually like to typically go into another matte shade. I really like more mattes. And this one truly only has like two mattes in here, these two transition shades. So I might actually build up my shadows. I typically like to do that now. I'm gonna go into Smog with that same transition and I'm just gonna lightly pat it on first and then build it and blend it out. Alright guys, so my camera just stopped recording and I have no idea where it stopped recording. I'll figure it out once I start editing it. But in case it cut out far, far back, I just wanted to let you guys know that 
I typically do like to put a shimmer right in my inner corner now that I previously didn't. And so I did go into the shade Half Baked, which is this like more golden one right here. And I did place that on my inner corner right there on the lid where I typically don't have any shade on. I like to put shimmer right there. I also did on my lower lash line go into the matte shade Buck right here and I did place that. Also did kind of smoke that out with smog and put dark horse on the outer corner as well. So that's what I would typically do um, with eyeshadows now versus then. As you can see, then I feel like I didn't really focus that much on transitioning shades and it was very harsh and I feel like now I like to build up my shadows. I like it when there's a nice transition and I also like that very lifted eye look where as then versus then I like really just did that sweeping motion. All right, next, we're moving on to eyeliner. And back then I was more into pencil eyeliners and I'm gonna actually use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. And I used to actually never line my upper. Yeah. Yeah, so I never really liked to like line my upper lash line. I really just like to do my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it was more like the waterline as well too. And that's pretty much all I did for eyeliner then. Um, I really didn't really put any eyeshadows on the bottom lash line like I told you guys. I really just liked putting eyeliner on that bottom waterline and lash line. But now I really like using like a felt tip or liquid liner on my upper lash line. And of course I love doing cat eyes or winged eyeliners, however you want to call it. And then this is more like a natural everyday, so I would really just stop there now. It's amazing how then on an everyday natural eye makeup, I would put liner on the bottom. But now I actually don't really like to put eyeliner on the bottom unless it's a very dramatic or very special event where I have like a lot going on, like a full glam on face. But even then, I really don't like to put anything on my waterline now. I really like to put either like a white or like a cream beigey. Um, eyeliner to really make that lower lash line pop so it's amazing how I started from the bottom first and then now I like to just apply eyeliner on the and I did thankfully wear mascara then as well as now so I feel like mascara is not really a different thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly apply to both sides all right then moving on I'm gonna do my the rest of my face I'm not gonna put on falsies today and then I also didn't really do bronzer or contouring or anything like that. But now I do, thankfully. So today I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Bronzer. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face. Also, one thing I also do like doing now versus then is I like to contour my nose. So I'm just going to do with the same bronzer. I'm gonna just contour the side of my nose. All right, and I can already see a huge difference once again with bronzing on my right side, what I do now, and then versus really flat. I really didn't do anything with contouring or highlighting. All right, I'm gonna move on to blush, and I did do blush then as well. So I'm just gonna apply blush. I did typically like something a little bit brighter like this. This one is from Sigma. This is Nymphia Aura Powder, face powder. I believe it's a blush. And I did wear something a little bit vibrant like this back then. I liked a lot of blush actually back then. I feel like I kind of went out of like the blush kind of like thing and I feel like I'm really back into it again but I do feel like my preferences of shades have changed versus then I feel like I always gravitate towards those very bright vibrant pinks or very rosy very vibrant pink um, blushes and now it really depends on the eye look so this one I'm using the pretty vulgar make them blush hush blush and I'm gonna just apply it to the side that I do now 
but very similar. I feel like I'm really getting back onto the blush train. So I'm, I like applying a little bit more blush as well now. All right, then I also have highlight. Then I feel like highlight wasn't really a thing, especially 10 years ago. I feel like highlight definitely was a bigger thing like two to three years ago, but I still wear highlights. So for today, I'm gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop and I'm gonna put it on the side of what I do now. And just a little bit on my nose as well. All right, moving on to lips. Then I feel like I was more into like a very simple, either pinky gloss or clear gloss. So I'm gonna use this Honey Sheen from Pixie. And this is a little bit pinky, but also has like a hint of um, like glitter and glow. Kind of a gloss here, so I'm gonna put it on the then side. And that's pretty much it I did for the then side. And then now, I mean, I still switch it up. I do wear lip gloss too. It's just not my go-to like everyday or go-to lipstick anymore. I typically like something that is a little bit more nudie or something like a liquid lipstick or a traditional lipstick. So I'm going to go in with the Joseph Colors Liquid Lipstick in Truffle. And this is definitely a shade that I definitely like for an everyday look. Alright guys, so that's it for my video today. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching my then versus now video. And I think it's just amazing to compare how I did my makeup then, especially in high school, compared to now. And if you apply your makeup how I did it then, there's nothing wrong with it. It's really personal preference. There's no right or wrong way of applying makeup. It's truly up to your personal preference. Um, it's just amazing for me to see how I used to apply my makeup in high school compared to now. I just feel like now I definitely have an eyebrow game, which I obviously did not then. See that I never even had bronzer, contoured. I know contouring was not a big thing then. Also with highlight, you know, now there's highlighting, contouring. But comment below if you liked the then or now. And comment below if you also were an overplucker and you literally had no brows then like me i feel like i truly overplucked it's amazing the transition now and i'm really liking how the now looks like so other than that thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>